Welcome back everyone. My name is Adnan Chaudhary from One Shoot Productions. Today we are learn about the displacement fact in which you can easily wrap your text with background or any kind of shape or background we can say that. So let's get started without wasting any type of your time. So we will use this wallpaper uh, or we can say this background uh, on which we will blend our text or wrap our text. So let's drag it in Photoshop go to Photoshop and drag this in press control 0 to size it up now what we have to do is we will simply go to the channels which is given in the layers panel if you don't find them go to windows and here are the channels okay so as you know I have already them so I will click on this and we will select you can see that these RGB channels R RGB means red green and blue so we will go through these all channels and see which one will be best for our wrapping so blue one is dark colors this seems dark and white looks nice uh, I think we will go for green well I would recommend that you should go for a green because it has the uh, lighter one and the darker one both so it could be better wrap around your text uh, or it, could, it can be better wrap your text so we will go to this uh, these lines and these I can say the menu and click and we will select the duplicate channel and we will see the silk and change the document to new and we will call it as as we know the green channel so we will call it as green or we can simply name it as displacement okay okay so hit okay now we have saved this now we will save this PSD so press control S and we will save this as on my desktop where I, I, where I can found it easily so we will save it in a display uh, in PSD file so the displacement it is in its name so it save nice now we will go back to the silk fabrics or we can say our back backgrounds and we will select the RGB so it will could be bring back us to the all colors okay so we will create a copy of this we will go to filter mm, blur and I think it should be uh, Gaussian blur nice we will give it a 1.0 blur so it can be soft out our text edges and hit ok now we will create a text so we will press T from our keyboard and give it a text so I am using our channel text so you can use your own so Okay, so let me set it up uh, nice and a little bit more okay so I forgot to tell you that which font I am going to use the font is agency FB bold and it's a bold not regular and the size is 300 pixels or PD and the shape should be soft or smooth and the alignment is in center so we'll press control a size it up oh sorry sorry not size it up press control a select all the area and select this one to middle this up as you know you have already know that come on okay so press control d to deselect that now we will press control t to rotate a little bit so it can be better cover the area so a little bit size it down nice there's no matter in the size so you can use any type of size uh, nice great and perfect so hit check mark that we are agree on this settings so we will go to filter distort and go to displacement nice now we'll current if you want to restrize this it will restrize its uh, layer and if you want to convert it to sub, uh, smart object it will be better but I will recommend you to convert it into smart object so you can uh, turn back to your effect main effect or without effect layer so click on convert smart object nice now the horizontal scale is 10 and the vertical scale is 10 we will not touch the settings stretch to fit and the repeat edge and uh, hit ok ok so here we have uh, displacement so this is not 
this one is better so we have called it as displacement so hit open and it will wrap this nice okay so let's see what's going on here so we'll give it a come on overlay very nice you can see that it is blended around its text and now what we have to do is we'll simply go to filter and camera raw filter sorry i didn't remember that we should give it some a little bit effects so what we what it is that we will create a copy of this background click and drag it on the top of the layers and we will change its blending mode normal to multiply nice now we will go to select all of these layers sorry all of these layers press ctrl g and press ctrl j to make a copy of these if we have any error so hide this layer and press ctrl e to get the output so go to filter camera raw filter very nice now what we have to do is we'll simply increase the light simply increase the contrast i think it's much better the highlights no no no, no. Uh, shadows and uh, whiteness blackness and the clarity great now the vibrance nice 10 and 5 oh uh, no it's too much nice hit ok very nice now you can see that it is blended very very perfectly you can see that this thing and from here and you can see that from here too much awesome okay so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial all of the files are given in the description bar if you didn't find the font we will provide you font uh, you can easily search on internet so go to google and type uh, agency fp so it you can find it very very easily in this background it is given in the description bar the link is given in the description bar as usual and you can easily download this or you can select your own please subscribe to our channel and share this to your friends if you have any problems please please comment us we can help you again please subscribe to our channel and take care see you in next video